Hello YouTube, we're doing a quick little test with Aspen here. We're gonna see if Aspen or Vessa does more damage. So the best way to do this and test this out is to go ahead and try in a flat game mode. The flat game mode we're going for is the Guild Altar. We have Faith Blades, so that's kind of fun. And we're gonna be fighting these guys. We have four attacks to do. And we're going to be sending in a team of endless active skills, is basically what it's going to be. We've got Rogans all with splendid punishers. We're then going to be combining that with our hero of choice, which is going to be Aspen and Vessa. Now, the astute of you will notice that Vessa has an advantage because she is a homeowner, but I can easily take her out of the Celestial Island just for the purposes of this experiment. So, sorry, Vessa. But I'm going to have to take you away from here, just, just for a moment. Um, is it going to cost me anything just to pop one of these guys in here, Eloise? Cost me a thousand gems. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, but... Sorry! Sorry for screwing this up! Going to kind of make a mess, but it's for science. There you go. Right, now Vessa is no longer a homeowner. We can go ahead and do some tests. So, first things first, is we're going to go ahead and take down with Aspen. Now, I also need to pick another hero. I think it's just going to be Halora. Halora offers some pretty decent buffs for the team. And yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, just take her out? Wait, you can do that? Is that a thing? Did I just do a stupid? Can you legit just take a hero out? Oh, no, it costs a thousand gems to do that. It costs a thousand gems to just take them out. Oh, but then it's going to cost you another thousand gems to swap. Balls. Well, anyway, let's go back to our science test. Guild Alter. Here we go. Let's go fight. So we're going to send in Aspen, Halora, and four Rogans. Here we go. We're going to put Halora at the front, Aspen at the back. The pet we're going to be using is... Oh, let's just go with Phoenix. And we'll see what happens. So lots of crit, lots of bonuses. They've got the exact same stone. They both have loads of armor. Let's see what happens. I don't know. It's just going to be endless active skills. Now, the important thing to bear in mind here is Aspen is not going to do a basic attack. And also, Aspen isn't going to gain his additional damage that he would gain because the opponents we're fighting are immune to being reduced down to 40% HP, which means we're not going to get extra damage from Aspen. That said, we should hopefully still absolutely wreck with Aspen and see just how much damage he does. So... This might be going a little bit too quick for your eyes, and I apologize if it is. It's kind of hard to see those damage numbers come out. But basically, we should be doing endless active skills. So as you can see, all those active skills come out. Then Aspen does an active skill. Just every single time. There you go. Energy feed all day long. Active skills. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. So it's kind of busted. Using multiple Splendid Demon Bells like this, it's kind of silly. And let's go see the damage numbers we end up with. Whoa! Okay, 251 billion. 201 billion of that was Aspen. Okay, that's pretty good. And why aren't we using Heart Watcher? Because it affects the test. This is an experiment to see who does more damage. Vessa or Aspen? Because at this point, Vessa's always been the queen of damage. Now, before we go see how much damage Vessa does, let's go compare their skills real quick. So this active skill does 1,000% of attack damage to a single enemy, then it does it again, and then inflicts Fear Abyssal Gaze. But because of Demon King's Might and we're fighting a boss, we instead will deal 120% of the damage we've already dealt and then steal 30% of their attack. So that's just nutty. You get the attack steal, you get those bonuses. But here's the big thing that's going to make Aspen do a lot more damage than he currently is. If that target that you're hitting is below 40% HP, he's going to do that attack damage again twice and then heal. So that's a ton more damage that scales way better with Demon King's Might. But either way, we walked away out of that without getting that bonus, and we did 200 billion damage. So now, to see, given that, if Vessa can hold up to it. She's got exactly the same stone. Attack, attack. So we're going to put that in here. 
And we're also going to make sure she's got exactly the same imprints. She's got holy damage. She's got crit, which she's not going to need, and crit damage. The reason she's not going to need crit is because we already have so much crit coming in from the Rogans. So we're going to need to just swap up for... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Precision? Is that what we were using? Precision, crit damage, holy damage. Let's go double check what Aspen had. Crit damage, precision, holy damage. Yep, there you go. Exactly the same build. Both of them resonant armor. Same splendid antlers cane. Attack, attack stone. Let's go see if this cuts up. Now, one thing worth mentioning about Vesa is she will have more attack because priest armor offers more attack. That might come into play. But of course, that also is a comparison we need to make between the two heroes. So what am I looking for? The guild. Good. Let's head in. Guild altar. The score to beat, 200 billion. So let's go see if Vesa can do it. I'm going to guess she can. So let's have a look. She needs the crit. You're pretty sure. Does she? Because she already has base 20% crit. And the Rogans are giving 80% crit. So it nets at 100% crit. Yeah, there you go. She's critting everything. But her attack is spread around. Right? One benefit of Vesa as well is she does heal your team. But then again, Aspen heals himself. And in this kind of fight, it doesn't really matter if you get healed or not. So you're looking at a very similar thing. Damage numbers are pretty high. Things are churning out. Oh, but then again, look at that. That's billions of damage from each individual hit from that Vesa. I don't know how that compares to what Aspen was doing, but we're only on round six and round seven now. Let's look at another active skill from Vesa. Here we go. Ooh, it's getting higher and higher with the Antlers Cane. Let's skip and see what the result is. 344 with 299 Thanks from Vesa. Content, no problem, Immortal Fiend. Pleasure is mine. So we're going to go in again with the Vesa lineup to get a new PB. See if she can beat that. But that was 299 billion from Vesa. So here we go. Let's churn it out. Now, one important thing you need to bear in mind here is what we mentioned with Aspen earlier. The Aspen will deal significantly more damage when an enemy is below 40% HP. So if you're fighting an enemy that is within that range, he will far exceed Vesa when it comes to damage. Vesa is more consistent against all enemies, but Aspen still holds his own when he isn't even getting that benefit, right? Vesa might be doing an extra 50% more damage than he is, but as soon as he gains that benefit, his attack damage will more than double. So it's a fun comparison to make. So if you're looking for raw PvE damage, I think they're both incredible heroes. I think you could go with either and be really comfortable. I think the thing that sets the mark with Aspen, though, is he is just a straight-up nuker with every other game mode as well. Mainly because he's stealing energy and he's putting CC on, en on, on enemies. That's going to be really important in the Void Vortex. It's going to be pretty influential and pretty impactful. So, yeah, it's just something to bear in mind. And let's go skip here. What are we getting out here? 406, 360. She did even more damage that time. Wild. I'm guessing more Phoenix buffs went onto the Vesa that time. That was kind of cool. Last time we managed to test ourselves Vesa versus Aspen without adding in Drake. So this time around, now that this is reset, we can try the exact same thing. But this time we're going to use Drake as a comparison. Because the main difference between Vesa and Aspen's active skills is Aspen targets a specific hero. Whereas Vesa's is just random. So let's go ahead and see how we do. First thing we're going to do is send in... Ooh, it's going to be it's going to be a tough one. I think I think we're just going to go with the same lineup as last time. It's going to be Energy Rogans and then Aspen with Drake. So we're just swapping out the Halora for a Drake, basically. And we're going to see how that damage performs in comparison to one another. So let's go take a look. So we're going to go to the Guild Altar. And we've removed everything. They're exactly the same as last time. So they're Attack Attack Stones. And actually, before we do this, let's go and make sure they have identical imprints. That's very, very important. So we have crit damage 
and crit. I don't think we need the crit though. I think that was something we established. So we're gonna go crit damage, holy damage, precision. So we'll go crit damage. Where's holy damage? Put that back in, there we are. And precision again. So as you can see, we uh, we have had some time between this and earlier. So I do have to redo all this again. But it's good, it gives you a little refresher of where we're up to. So there's holy damage, there's control immunity. That's not what I want. Precision, and there it is, crit damage. Nice one. So yeah, just setting that all up. So that should be pretty fun. Got to make sure she's attack attack. Yes, she is. So it will be a matter of just swapping an artifact across. So here we go. To the guild altar. We'll start off with Aspen. Aspen is going to go in the front line. I'm going to swap out Halora for Drake. So hopefully the debuff goes on the front line enemy. And then Aspen hits that front line enemy as well. So, ah, the debuff is on... A completely different dude. Okay, that's good to know. So we're going to need to go ahead and put Aspen in slot three. Amazing. So that was 70 there. That wasn't very good, but that's not what we're testing. So it's good that we can get that first one out there so we can figure out where exactly the debuff goes. So we need to put Aspen here in slot three. So that's good. All right, let's try again. Unless, of course, it's really annoying and Drake's debuff is random, um, then I'm really mad. But hopefully it's going to be the guy in slot three again so that's fingers crossed what's gonna happen here so let's attack again and yep there we go so aspen will go for that guy now because they're both in the same slot so there you go everything's gonna get smacked onto him and the rogans are gonna buff up our crit and aspen can hopefully deal a colossal amount of damage let's see how this goes And yeah, no Halora. We just want all the energy feed from the Rogans, and we just want to compare their two damage numbers. So again, ignore what we had last time, right? That was a different team that had Halora in here. The lineup was completely different. This is just a comparison of Vessa and Aspen. So in this completely isolated test, we're seeing how they perform when paired with Drake. This should also inform you about which one you want to go for, because if you plan on building Drake, which you hopefully should if you're building a PvE hero, you may find that this is going to be pretty important stuff for you to know. Because you might find that Aspen is actually better with Drake than Vessa. At least that's what I'm hoping for as well. So let's go ahead and see if that plays out. Because he's not gaining that 40% bonus. We've mentioned that before in the past. And if he can outperform her and still not gain that 40% bonus, that's insane. Because that means he's going to be even more powerful when opponents are reduced below that threshold. So that's going to be real nice. But yeah... Either way, things are churning out nicely. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. So there we go. 137 coming out there. That's 100 billion by the Aspen. Not too bad at all. All right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try Vessa. Same thing. So let's remind ourselves the build. Make sure they're identical. So that was attack attack with Antlers Cane. And the imprints were crit damage precision and holy damage so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to vessa say hi she's also running holy damage crit damage and precision and she also has attack attack stone they're both void four it couldn't be any more equal so we're going to go ahead and pop in the antlers cane and do exactly the same test with her and it should be pretty different because drake was synergizing really nicely there with aspen let's see if that synergy holds up when we swap out Aspen and pop in the Vessa. So folks, fingers crossed. Let's go and remove the skin. I think the skin should still come into play, right? I think that's important because it's part of Vessa, right? It's part of what she's able to have. There is no skin for Aspen yet. I'll do one with the skin and one without the skin. How does that sound? See what difference the skin makes. Especially if it's close. So the thing you'll notice, Vess is about to do an active skill. And that active is going to... See, it depends on who it hits. She's going to do more damage against the opponent that's got all their defensive debuffed. 
so you can't guarantee she's going to pop off like that. Just going to skip the battle. And Vesa did. Very close, though. Very, very, very close. 119. That is fascinating. You see how much that just shrunk? Right? The damage difference? That is crazy. So as soon as you're allowing Aspen to synergize with Drake, the difference between them rapidly got shrunk. Now, there are builds you can even do where you can probably get Aspen to far exceed Vesa. Um, but in that particular blind test we just did there, that was just pretty interesting. Just a little isolated event. Now, what we're going to do is also remove the skin, right? It's gone. So we lose a ton of bonuses. Let's see what removing the skin does to her performance. This might completely level a playing field. You never know. So let's go take a look for our final attack. And yes, there's going to be variants. Unfortunately, we can only do four attacks in this. But, you know, it's nice to see that they're performing very similarly to each other. Because one of the most frequent questions I've been asked since the release of Aspen is if I had to choose between Fairy Queen or Aspen, who do I go for? And Fairy Queen is a defensive support hero and she offers a ton of damage in PvE game modes. People know this. She's very good at that. But if Aspen is able to be a game changer, right? In that he's able to match Vesa for power, but also be so useful thanks to his energy steal and his fear and the fact that he does extra, extra, extra damage against opponents who are below 40% HP, that could genuinely make the difference between whether you choose between Vesa or Aspen. I think we'll have to see if you care about PvP, um, how the meta shapes up with Aspen now in it. Um, obviously, it takes a while for PvP metas to stabilize because people respond and it's very organic and it's constantly changing with what people choose to switch with their lineups. But as the weeks go on and people test and fight and end up rock, paper, scissoring against each other until they find something that they can settle on, um, we won't really know who's going to be more important, Vesa or Aspen. The obvious response is both because all the whales will run ideally both of them on a team because Vesa is very powerful. Aspen is very powerful. Question is, which one's going to be a better tenant as well? Uh, it really depends on what heroes you have. I, I personally think that Aspen has better tenants than Vesa because they're all really important heroes. I mean, Drake, Carry, Amon Ra are all tenants in completely separate slots. So that for me is a huge selling point for Aspen over Vesa is that actually when it comes to tenant progress, you're far more likely to have the heroes he synergizes with. And they also help you in Seal Land. Drake, Carry, Amon Ra are all good heroes in Seal Land. And they're all good heroes for any account. So not too shabby. Now with the skin off, let's see how Vesa performed. And oh my word, look at that. Way down. You see how much RNG it is with Vesa? It literally depends on where her active skill lands, right? It could have hit the guy who was debuffed loads last time. We don't know. But the damage was way more consistent with Aspen. So that's fascinating stuff. So what we can deduce from this is from our testing that we did at the beginning, we know that when Drake isn't involved, Vesa will easily outdamage Aspen. But as soon as you take the synergy that Drake has with Aspen in that they can target the same hero, provided you know which one that's going to be, you can really abuse that and get some really, really stunning performances from Aspen when you pair him with a Drake. And if you're going to go for PvE, you're clearly using a Drake. So from this alone, if you're looking for PvE damage, I think you should probably just go for Aspen, in all honesty. I think he is a much more fun and very, very powerful hero. The fact he attack steals as well is only another argument to be running him in PvE, because attack steal is crucial to your success. And that works against bosses because they cannot be CC'd by him. So really, as an all-rounder, damage dealer, disruption hero, does everything you need, I think when it comes to Transcendence heroes, there's few that do it quite as good as Aspen when it comes to PvE damage. So if I had to pick between the two of them, and it was a matter of which one do I want, Vesa or Aspen, I'm going to choose Aspen. So hopefully that helps you guys come to that conclusion yourselves. Obviously, you know, you might deduce your own conclusion from other things you've seen or your own testing. And maybe for you, shields and healing is more important. Maybe that's something you want for your account. Maybe you don't have a Fiona. But personally, better tenants, just as good damage, and the fact he attack steals, that pushes Aspen ahead. And not to mention, I imagine he's pretty good in the Void Vortex too. Solid hero. Gets a thumbs up from me.